Hey everyone, what is going on? So I have another video for you today, and today is going to be a meta guide in the Master Premier Cup. So the Master Premier Cup begins tomorrow, and if you don't want to play it, if you don't have these Pokemon, if you don't have the XL Candy, you could play the Open Great League. That is going to continue on for another week, so that's good. Um, yeah, at least you have an option for you. You can continue on with the Great League if you choose to. But yeah, the Master Premier Cup, basically, uh, Legendaries, Mythicals, as well as Ultra Beast are going to be banned. Uh, and you, but you can use level 50 Pokemon, right? So they do have to be, they don't have to be level 50, but you do want to use level 50 Pokemon, uh, or as high as you possibly can get them. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into it without further ado, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the S rank first. So the S rank floor is going to be rank number one. Definitely, definitely a very powerful Pokemon. Uh, Flabebe did have an event not too long ago where they were spawning. I Mega Evolved, I'll tell you, I caught a bunch of them, traded them. I got enough candy for Florges and I did max it out. So I'm good to go with this Pokemon. Hopefully you're good to go. It's super, super powerful uh, in this meta. Definitely one of the best, if not the best. Yeah, definitely the best fairy type in this meta. Yeah, you do have charm users, but I think Florges is just so good in this meta. Uh, next up we have Dragonite. Dragonite did have a community day, well Dratini did, uh, so maybe you have enough XLs for that. We have some accessible Pokemon in this meta that are really good thanks to community day, like Dragonite, right? And Dragonite is so good with the Dragon Breath, uh, it's just absolutely so powerful. Um, you know, it, it, well, the sh if you want to go with the Shadow one, that's fine as well, but both of them are really strong. Really, really good uh, Pokemon uh, in this Master Premier Cup. Next up, we have Gyarados. Magic Cup technically had a, uh, a community day, but I want to say it was before the XLs came out. I could be wrong about that, but I believe that it was. Uh, I have a level 50 Gyarados anyway, because Magic Cup just spawns quite often, at least during events. At least it did. Um, so, yeah, another great Pokemon with Waterfall and Dragon Breath. Uh, absolutely love Gyarados. I use it a lot. In the Master Premier Classic, I used it a lot. Gonna be using it in this meta, should I play it? I probably will play it, uh, at least try it out, right? Uh, and then we have Snorlax. Snorlax is a great safe swap, or Shadow Snorlax. Um, so, you know, maybe you have enough XLs. I actually don't, so you're not gonna see me using Snorlax. But, um, great safe swap. Obviously you have to watch out for fighting types, but I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think fighting is too common in this meta. We have Machamp, we have Conkleda, but we don't see them that often. It's not like they're on every team. You do see them though, they are good. Uh, but Snorlax is a great Pokemon. Metagross, definitely a top pick as well. Um, you know, it's interesting. when the, I have enough XLs for uh, Metagross, but the best Metagross I have is a 15, 15, 12. Uh, back when the original Community Day happened, I didn't play much of it because I was with my girlfriend at the time. Uh, and we were at Disney World. And I, th I caught two Shinies, and I had the game on for a little bit. The best I had uh, was a 15, 15, 12, and I'm actually surprised I got that one. Um, and that's just hap that just happens to be the best one I, I ever had. So uh, I don't want to invest in that one. I want to see if we, we can get a, a Community Day Classic for Beldum. I'm rooting for it. So I'm not going to be using Metagross, uh, but Metagross is a great Pokemon to use. Uh, so that's the S rank. Moving on to the A rank, we do have Garchomp. Garchomp is a great Pokemon. Yet another Community Day Pokemon. A lot of Community Day Pokemon uh, for the Master Premier Cup that are just really, really strong. Uh, Earth Power is a Community Day move. Earth Power is good. Uh, Sand Tomb is good, as well as um, Outrage. Whichever moves that you want to go with, Dragon Tail and Mud Mudshot are all good. So they're all good. You just basically need to stay away from fairy types, <laughs> and then you're looking pretty good. This is a good Pokemon. I, I like Garchomp. I like Cho You also don't want to take the Dragon Breath damage, but if you have Dragon Tail, it's not bad. Most of them I see have Mudshot, though. And then Togekiss. We recently had a Togetic Community Day, uh, so more XLs for everyone, which is pretty cool. You honestly don't even need the Community Day move. or Spear is fine to have on it, but if you happen to have Flamethrower on it, I think that's fine as well, to be honest. I think or Spear might be a little bit better, but... Uh, I mean, not by much, to be honest. The, the main damage is going to come from Charm, uh, and Flamethrower will get the job done as well. They're both going to be strong against Steel types, right? Uh, and then we have uh, yet another community day Pokemon Teddy Ursa. So we have Ursa, Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna is really cool with that tackle. It doesn't have Shadow Club, but like we all wanted it to get. But it does have Thunder Punch, and it does have uh, high horsepower, so pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, the tackles actually add up. I actually built my Shundo level 50, so I do have one ready to go. So as I said, I'm going to be trying out the Master Premier Cup, uh, and then probably, uh, we'll see what, if I want to stick with it. We'll see. For the B-Rank, we do have Mammoth Swine, great Ice-type Pokemon. Uh, we're having a Community Day coming up for this one. 
uh, for Swine, I love a Community Day Classic, so definitely catch him because Mamba Swine is a great Pokemon for not only the Master League, it's it's good for the Master League, but it's also good for raids, so you definitely want to get more. Chestnut, Chestnut, definitely the best grass type we have, uh, and that's not saying a whole lot, to be honest. It's not the greatest Pokemon, but, you know, it could be okay to use. Uh, Machamp, I did mention Machamp, or Shadow Machamp earlier. I said... Fighting types are not super common, and that is true, but you do see Machamp and Conkle. Those are definitely the, the two fighting types that you will see. Uh, I have seen Heracross here and there, but that is really rare in my opinion. Como O, yet another Dragon Tail user if you want to go double dragon or something like that. Como O is a good Pokemon. And then we have Excadrill. So Excadrill, we've seen that in the Open Master League. Uh, we see it in the Master Premier Cup as well. So really good Pokemon. So that's going to be the SA and B tier for you. Let's go ahead and move on to the other options. So Avalug is not a bad Pokemon. I think Mamoswine wins in terms of ice typing. Uh, but Avalug is actually not a bad one if you manage to maybe play Bergmite Spotlight Hour and you got enough XLs for it. Kankoder, another fighting type. Uh, Kankoder we'll see occasionally. It has to watch out for fairies, but it is really strong. Stone Edge uh, is a good move. And then we have Swamp It, Swamp It. Uh, you, you, you do see this one as well in the Master Premier. You never see Swamp It in the Open Master League, but you do see it in the Master Premier Cup. Uh, and it's pretty good, yeah. Uh, the same can't really be said for High Dragon. It's not the greatest Pokemon. It's a Dragon Breath user. It's not necessarily walled by Fairy types because it has Flash Cannon, but it does take a while to get to Flash Cannon. So, in a sense, it is walled by them. But landing a Flash Cannon on a Fairy type definitely feels good. But, um, yeah, I don't really think we'll see this too often. It could be fun to use, though. Then we have Sneasel. Sneasel could be another interesting Pokemon if you happen to have the XLs for Sneasel. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Aurorus, I think Aurorus is actually pretty good. A pretty good Ice type with that Powder Snow Weather Ball. Absolutely. Uh, Mammoth Swine is going to have probably a little bit better, but I mean, Aurorus not going to be a bad Pokemon. It's going to do well against the Dragons, right? Against the Togekiss. Uh, it's going to be a pretty good Pokemon. And then we have Hisuian Avalog, uh, another interesting pick. We have a couple Charm uses. We have Sylveon and we have uh, Primarina, both of which are good. If you want to go ahead and go double Charm, probably Togekiss and then Primarina. Primarina is not weak to steel types like Bullet Punch or Medium Mesh from Metagross. It takes neutral damage. So. Uh, yeah, probably Primarina, but Primarina is a really good Pokemon. I've also seen Primarina with Waterfall in the Master Premier Cup as well. Uh, and then we have Wolverine. Wolverine is an Ice type, of course. Uh, it, I mean, I've seen this a handful of times, a few times, uh, but I don't think it's too common just because, I mean, at the end of the day, Icicle Spear was nerfed uh, a few seasons ago. Whenever it was nerfed, it's not going to be too, too common. We have another Dragon Breath user, Gudra. And then we have Roserade. Roserade, uh, if you want to get... If you want to get pretty spicy, uh, Roserade could be pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to do well. Poison Jab going to do well against those fairy types. So, But I think we have better answers for fairy types. But yeah, that's going to be the Master Premier Cup. Let's go ahead and move on to the solid team options. So, for the first team, we have Garchomp. Or you could go another Dragon type like Dragon Knight. Uh, or even Gyarados, honestly, with uh, what I like to call a fake out double charm. So we have a charm user and then we have a non charm user, but it is a fairy type Florges. I think Florges acts as a safe swap. Um, and yeah, I think the team could work out really well. Obviously, you have to lure out the steel type. If it's double steel, you're in trouble, but you do have to lure out the steel type um, with, let's say, Florges. And then Garchomp can handle it if there is a steel type or whatever other dragon. And then Togekiss maybe can sweep. Uh, next up, we do have Togekiss with Snorlax as a safe swap, and then we do have the Metagross. So, Metagross, uh, yeah, really good Pokemon. Snorlax, as I said, is a great safe swap. Uh, if you win the lead, great. If it's a Steel type, you go straight into that Snorlax, right? Uh, another team, we do have Gyarados. I, I like Waterfall on this Gyarados with Ursaluna and Metagross. Ursaluna being a good safe swap. Uh, all these three did have community days, even though like the Metagross was, be you know, was before XLs was a thing. I think Magikarp was as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, you know, I think I, th I think I think Ursaluna is a pretty good safe swap because people are gonna see it. I feel like a lot of trainers are probably not gonna be prepared for it, but um, you know, it's it, it's a good Pokemon. It has Thunder Punch. It has High Wars Power. It's a good Pokemon. Uh, next up, we have Dragonite with Florges and Excadrill, so uh, Florges being pretty good safe swap. Just has to watch out for the Steel types. Um, and then, of course, Excadrill does well against Steel types. Dragonite can as well because of Superpower. Uh, next up, we have a double fighting team with Machamp and Conkle Dirt in the back, and then we have Metagross in the lead. You could go with maybe another Steel type if you wanted to, like Excadrill. But, um, yeah, I mean, double fighting, obviously going to be weak, right, to Charm. But you do have the, if you lure it out with, let's say, Machamp, uh, and then, um, you know, Metagross, 
yeah, Lord the Charm, use it, Lord the Florges, Metagross is going to be able to farm that down, get a lot of energy, you know how it works. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good team. I've battled this team before uh, in the Master Premier Classic. It was a classic, but, um, you know, still should be working out really well. And then the next team is going to be Excadrill with Gyarados and Dragonite. Uh, so the backline is going to be weak to Charm, like Togekiss. Like, I mean, Sylveon, uh, Florges, which doesn't have Charm. Excadrill is a Steel-type, so it's resisting all the Fairy-type attacks. You could go with another Steel-type if you choose to, like Benegros. Um, but no, I mean, uh, Gyarados could have Waterfall. It could have Dragon Breath. Waterfall probably gives it more play, so probably Waterfall. Uh, but, you know, Dragon Breath could be interesting as well. But the safe swap definitely going to be that Gyarados. Because if, you ha if it does have Waterfall, it has play against, like, the Togekiss. The, the more play against the Metagross, right? Uh, fairy types like Forges as well. So anyway, that's going to be the Master Premier Cup for you. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.